John. Hi, thanks very much. Hi, everybody. Quick question for the audience. What is this? Not a trick question. It's a bun, right? It's a sort of a rectangular-ish piece of bread with a slice through it. So 20 billion of these were sold in the United States last year, right? That's 20 billion of these. So why is that? It's because of this, the hot dog, right? So think of the bun as really great infrastructure and the hot dog as the application, right? So this is in 95% of the households in the United States. Um, I'm originally from Illinois, even though I live in California now. Um, so I just wanted to give everyone a warning about hot dogs. Um, so please read this very carefully. Okay, no ketchup within the city limits of Chicago. Okay, remember that. Okay, so this is the Turbo PC introduced in 1985 under the brand of PCs Limited. Uh, sold for $795. Uh, what was revolutionary about this is that Michael Dell came up with the idea that we would, we would build to order uh, and that it was, uh, that really was a revolutionary thing to get this great a technology at that price point back then. But what really sold the Turbo PC were the applications that went on top of it. And this is Lotus 1, 2, 3. Uh, it was an early spreadsheet application that really helped drive the demand for, for this device. This is the inside guts of a modern smartphone. Two billion of these are in the hands of people around the world, right? This year, it's going to be around 2.5 billion of these. So you get the theme here, right? That, that it's, 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 the, it's the applications that are driving it. At Noodle AI, we are seeing that artificial intelligence applications are driving a massive shift in the demand for data storage in high-performance computing. So this is what we have at Noodle AI. So what we realized when we started Noodle AI was if you look at the infrastructure that's available right now, it was not built for AI solutions. And so what we've done is actually started from the ground up and built a purpose-built infrastructure to drive AI applications all the way from intelligent petabyte storage that where we actually use artificial intelligence to do unsupervised learning of the data, look for anomalies, and data that is likely to be interesting to AI applications, we put in high, high accessibility storage. Uh, data that is probably not going to be interesting, we put in cold storage. We couple this with petaflop level computing power and then once the models are trained, they can either be, they can either be uh, uh, exposed to the customer as AI as a service applications uh, or go into like a factory or a truck as AI at the edge. But what's really important about this and what people, what people really come to Noodle AI is for our applications. We are an AI as a service application company. We focus in supply chain and manufacturing. Uh, the reason we focus here is because the AI works better, um, the, uh, there's an incredible economic value here, and we can create good for society. Um, so we go anywhere, our applications address everywhere from materials intelligence, which is looking at inbound materials to the factory. Uh, then on the factory floor, we look at energy, uh, energy intelligence, we look at predictive asset intelligence and so forth, and then we have outbound logistics and fill rate intelligence for, for inventory. So just give you one quick example really quickly. So this is Big River Steel in Osceola, Arkansas. Uh, it is, uh, this is one of their electric arc furnaces. So the way this works is that there's an anode at the top of this cauldron and a cathode at the bottom. In the middle is, is shredded cars and all kinds of other scrap steel. They run a bolt of electricity through this. Uh, that bolt of electricity is, is 1,100 gigawatt hours of energy per year. This is Little Rock, Arkansas, which is the closest city to, to uh, Big River Steel. That one electric arc furnace uses more electricity than the entire city of Little Rock, Arkansas. 
right? So, so predicting and shaping energy is critically important. So this is one of our applications that does that. It takes thousands of variables as inputs, uh, including the chemistry of the scrap steel, uh, whether it rained the last week, who the operators are of, of, the, of the mill, and predicts every hour uh, what the consumption is going to be for energy. Uh, what this does is allow Big River Steel to actually sell back energy that they're not going to use, uh, saving Big River Steel $5 million per year per electric arc furnace, and something that we're very proud of, reduces 100,000 tons of CO2 emissions per electric arc furnace per year. So when you think of Noodle AI, so we have really cool infrastructure, purpose-built for artificial intelligence, but what's propelled us to be the number one AI startup ranked by LinkedIn in 2018, uh, the number one B2B startup, number four overall startup in the United States ranked by LinkedIn this year, are our, really our applications. So come to us for our applications and, uh, and let's go noodle. Thank you.